While cell phones have enriched our lives in many ways, the ability to command our attention can also cause us serious problems. According to NHTSA, National Highway Traffic Security Administration, in the US, nine people are killed and more than 1,000 people are injured every single day in crashes involving a distracted driver. Hey there, welcome back here with me on Be A Moon, Not A Star. Do you have the habit of folding cell phone while driving? Certainly, I do have the habit of folding car steering wheel with one hand and cell phone with other hand while driving. I had been doing this for many years and I personally believe that when we do things consistently or repeatedly, whether it's a good or bad, it becomes our habit. I continue to do this until one fine evening. It was around 5 p.m. My friend and I were going to the emergency care because of his illness. Even that day, I was holding my cell phone while driving to follow the address on Google Maps. As per the map, we expected to reach there at 5.45 p.m. As soon as we reached the hospital parking lot, we started walking towards the emergency care. There, we met Dr. Lisa Stone, who examined his illness. Post that she confirmed he had a viral fever and asked him to stay there for further treatments. We were there until 8 p.m. to complete those treatments. Then we started back home collecting all the medical reports. While coming back home, unfortunately, we met with an accident. Can you imagine why that accident happened? Well, it happened because of two reasons. The first and foremost one is, I was holding cell phone while driving. And the other one is, I lost control over my car steering wheel when the front tire suddenly went flat. That incident hit me hard to realize that if I wasn't holding cell phone while driving, I would have prevented that accident. Even though the car tire went flat, I could have controlled my car before I hit another car. Now, could you tell me how many of you listening here have the habit of texting while driving? According to the University of Michigan Transportation Research Institute, 25% of people text every time they drive. My friend is one among them. We did graduation together in the same university. Post that he became a sales representative who travels a lot to meet his customers, manufacturers, salespeople, and so forth. He also travels to his client's location once in a week for his sales presentation. You can't imagine how passionate he was about his profession, but unfortunately, he is no more with us today. He passed away on August 1st, 2019, three weeks from the day he met with an accident. He is a kind of person who spent almost five to six hours every day driving. He also had the habit of multitasking every time he drives, like texting, checking emails, calling, and so on. The day he met with an accident, he was texting to one of his clients about the next presentation. Boom, his car collided with a cargo van got severely injured and lost all his blood. That resulted him unconscious for a few weeks. Then he passed away. Distracted driving crashes and kills. Therefore, I would like to share with you four takeaways today that would prevent the accident. Number one, plan your route before you go. If you are unfamiliar with the route like me, it's always better to plug in your destination before you turn on your car. Many of us attempt to use a cell phone or map when we are already on the road. Number two, avoid multitasking while driving. Anything that occupies your mind can be a distraction behind the wheel. That includes even having a coffee. Never take it easy, accidents have happened just because of having coffee while driving. Number three, Use cell phone only in emergencies. Don't reach your cell phone unless and until you have an emergency. Put them in drive or silent mode while driving. Number four, speak up. If you see someone is texting 
are using cell phone while driving, let them know that you are not comfortable with that behavior. Also, encourage your children and friends to do the same when they are passengers. That could save a life. I would really appreciate if you share these four takeaways with your loved ones. Let me recap them real quick. Number one, plan your route before you go. Number two, avoid multitasking while driving. Number three, use cell phone only in emergencies. And number four, speak up. Now it's your turn to speak up. Hope you guys find this informative. We'll see you there in another video two weeks from now. Until then, I am Prakash, signing off.